not going to YouTube, I'm the guy, and in this video, I want to just quickly recommend a software to you guys. Basically, I edit my video myself a lot, and I like to use my headset to edit, but most of the time, or some other times, I also like to use my desktop speakers to, you know, play it out. So, if I want to basically play this out, I usually go ahead and unplug my headset, you know, why not create a shortcut key? And I went through Windows, and I searched everywhere. There was no way to create a shortcut key that will help you switch between this thing right now, because I'm running this software right now. What this software does is to let you create a shortcut key that can let you switch between your audio playback device and if i go ahead and press the f10 on my keyboard it should basically switch between audio devices so it's a free software it's not big it's actually 50 mb to download on the internet and you won't even know it's actually running on the background so the installation process is pretty much very simple obviously we need to download the software onto our pc so go over to your web browser so in my case i'm using google chrome and yeah type in sound switch on the web browser sound switch on the first option it says sound switch the best way to light up your event that is not what we're going to be looking for if you go to the next one it says control your audio output so that is what we are going to be going for so go ahead and click on the second main link and it should take you to the sound switch website you can also donate to them if you want to support them it's a cool software like i said i uh, mean it's free so go ahead and click the button that says download sound switch v6.40 and it should take a couple of minutes to download so like i said it's 50 mb so it's literally very small and then once it is done locate the folder where you have your downloaded file in so this is my own i, I downloaded on my desktop so click on that file and you should kick start your installation process so the installation process is pretty much very simple so i'm, I, I'm going to kind of skip it but you just pretty much have to agree then press yes 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 and yes and then once you're done you have the software installed on your pc launch the software and once you click on it you should bring up this little window right here so on this page right here we're going to be finding two sections the first section is going to be the connected um, speakers on your on your on your pc and then the second one is going to be the disconnected section so on the connected section where i have two speakers connected to my pc right now so if you have four you see four here basically if you have two you see two so what we're going to be doing is to select all those speakers that is connected on your device right now so i have two so i have to select it right now so um once we have those selected what we have to now do is to go ahead and change the hotkey that is change the key that we want to be using for our pc right now so highlight that piece of hotkey here <laughs> why well, that thing sounded funny but highlight the hotkey press i so i'm going to be using i for my own and you should basically use anything that you want to be using on your keyboard so there are many keys here so choose between anyone you want so i'm using i i don't know i'm going to use i so that once i now close this i can go ahead and press i and it should change and one thing guys i just remembered right now that I is going to be a bit of a problem for me to use right now so basically use a key that is not going to affect you while you use your keyboard i'm going to fix that right now so so yeah f10 now should be working fine so if i press f10 it should change the surface finally to quickly answer the question that might be going through your mind right now what if you restart your pc so yeah if you restart your pc that is if you turn off your pc and then turn it on back again the software is going to simply be closed you would not take effect until you relaunch the software and i call this a pro instead of a con because when a software you know tends to become a startup program that is it launches every single time your pc is turning on it kind of slow down your booting process so it's a good thing that you have to turn this on by yourself so whenever you want to just you know use the software you just have to just go ahead and double click on the software right on your desktop and if you kickstart the software in the background without you even you know wasting up to three seconds so yeah hopefully one time you're going to start seeing tech reviews i'm supposed to be reviewing um tech on this channel and doing this at the same time but basically subscribe to the channel youtube gave me a strike the other day for posting a video on how to uh, i don't know if i should say this but how to do something or how to activate one thing for free and i don't know if I don't know if i'm going to be posting that kind of videos on a regular so guys if you want to see that kind of video maybe probably how to activate for free I, I will be posting those kind of content i should be posting that kind of content in our telegram channel or facebook so you can also check them out it's going to be the link the links are going to be all in the description box click on any of the videos you see on your screen right now and i will see you in my next video bye